Did you know there's a massive wall cutting through the heart of the United States? It stretches nearly 1,800 miles from North Dakota to Texas, but it's not made of concrete or steel. It's alive. It's made entirely of trees. This is the Great Plains Shelter Belt, and it saved America from environmental collapse. To understand why it exists, we need to go back to the 1930s. The Great Plains were once covered in native prairie grasses with roots going 10 to 15 feet deep, holding the soil together like nature's cement. But settlers plowed up millions of acres, replacing those deep roots with shallow-rooted crops. Then in 1931, the rain stopped, and it didn't come back. The drought combined with exposed soil created the perfect storm, literally. Massive dust clouds rose thousands of feet high, turning day into night. On April 14, 1935, Black Sunday, a dust storm so enormous hit that it darkened skies across multiple states. People couldn't breathe. Children developed dust pneumonia. Entire farms were buried under drifting soil 20 feet high. Thousands of families lost everything, becoming refugees in their own country. This was the Dust Bowl, and it was an American catastrophe. President Franklin D. Roosevelt's solution seemed almost too simple, plant trees. In 1934, he launched the Great Plains Shelter Belt Project, a plan to create a living wall of trees running north-south across the plains to break the prevailing winds. Critics called it Roosevelt's folly. But starting in 1935, an army of workers and desperate farmers began planting. They chose hardy survivors, red cedar, green ash, cottonwood, ponderosa pine, trees that could withstand drought and brutal conditions. By 1942, they had planted over 220 million trees, forming 18,600 miles of shelter belts across six states. And it worked spectacularly. Wind speeds dropped by 50% in protected areas. Soil moisture increased. Crops yielded 20-30% more in sheltered fields. Dust storms became less frequent and less severe. The land began to heal. Today, many of those trees still stand after 85 years still protecting the plains. But thousands of miles have been removed from modern farming, and scientists warn we could be heading for another dust bowl as droughts intensify and groundwater depletes. The Great Plains. Shelter Belt proved that massive environmental damage can be reversed with science, patience, and collective action. At the height of the Great Depression, America invested in planting trees that wouldn't mature for decades, trees for their grandchildren. That's the kind of long-term thinking we desperately need today. The living wall is still standing. The question is, what are we planting for the future?